everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel on the art of alopecia. For those who don't know me, my name is Marcy and I have an autoimmune condition called alopecia universalis. Basically what that means is my immune system mistakenly attacks my hair follicles and that is why I am completely bald and balding throughout my body. And on this channel I talk all about hair loss, I do lots of wig reviews, tutorials, tips, tricks, Q and A's. Um, this YouTube channel is still fairly new. Um, it hasn't reached a year yet. I started it shortly after Christmas, but I am extremely active on my Instagram page, also known as The Art of Alopecia. I post a whole lot of IGTV videos on there, posts, I do lots of lives, Q and A's share stories, wig reviews too on there. So definitely go give me a follow on Instagram. And I'm also known on TikTok as The Art of Alopecia. I'm not too, too active on TikTok. I just really need to sit down and figure out how to actually work TikTok. It kind of scares me a little bit. Um, but for those who have been following me for a while know that this is not my usual location. This is my only free day to film content for you guys and the sun just went down. So I'm sitting in front of my biggest window um, that's kind of in front of the natural lighting and then I got my ring light here. So I just think it's so important to film like wig reviews in front of the natural lighting just to give you the most realistic look as to what they look like in the natural lighting instead of like some synthetic lamp lighting. But anyway, as you can probably already tell, yes, I'm going to be doing yet another wig review from the company Weekend Wigs. They are a company that I have never tried out before, nor have I heard of until they reached out to me um, asking me to do a few reviews for you guys today. So they have sent me three of their beautiful synthetic wigs. One is a front lace and two are kind of like silk tops. They both have bangs um, and they're all completely different colors. So I can't wait um, to give them a try and share with you guys my opinions. Don't worry, I will be linking everything down below, including the website, their Instagram page, all of the spe specific links to these wigs in particular. So don't worry, I got you. Um, and I've just contacted the company regarding a discount code. So if they do go ahead and give me one, I will also link it down below so that you guys can hopefully, fingers crossed, save some money if you do decide to try out weekend wigs. Alrighty friends, so starting with a little bit of an unboxing and showing you what the wigs kind of came in. So this is the box that it comes in. Sorry, that just, oh my goodness, I had a little burp, but I just, I was talking at the same time. Anyway, so this is the box that it comes in. It's nothing too, too special. It's just one of those slide boxes. So you can definitely still um, keep your wigs in here. It's just not as sturdy. And the, all of the wigs came in a plastic bag, which was another layer of protection. And those are actually great plastic bags because you can reuse them. So keep these, save the environment. Um, it also comes with a wig cap and a few bobby pins, which um, I can't remember the last time I've gotten bobby pins um, from a wig company. So you gotta love a good bobby pin. But that is it for the unboxing. Um, I received two boxes. So both of my silk tops were in one and my front lace was in the other. So I received three wig caps because there were three wigs and three little packages of bobby pins, but only in two boxes. Alrighty, let's get this started. So starting with the front lace, we've got a beautiful purple one. Um, this is like every girl's dream hair color. Like I remember as a kid wanting to dye my hair like this lavender purple. It's just so stunning. And I love these natural waves. Um, I don't have all of the specifics in front of me. I'm not gonna do that. Um, in this video, I feel like it just takes up so long and it just says it on the website anyway. So this is what the cap looks like. So she is a front lace, meaning you can part her wherever you'd like. Um, and she has closed wefts at the back. And then there's also some combs throughout, 
There's no clips, but there are the adjustment straps. Um, you can't do a whole lot of styling up just because you will be able to see the weft. So keep that in mind. Um, as I said, I've already cut the lace super duper easy. Um, the density seems to be extremely high as synthetics usually are, but you can always remove some density. I actually just did a customization video on front lace synthetics on my IGTV video. So if you're interested in learning more about um, how to customize these and make them more natural, then I would highly recommend going to check that out. So without further ado, let's throw her on. I have just adjusted her accordingly. I haven't cut in the ear tabs, but I will later on. Oh my goodness, she's so crazy. Like I have such a small head, so this much hair is just, it seems like a whole lot, but I love these natural curls. So off the bat, first impressions, the hair is very, very soft for synthetics. Um, it's easy to brush through. There's only a little bit of shedding. The very comfortable cap, I must say, it is made very well. Um, and as for the part, this is what it looks like. It's not the most natural, but you can always pluck the hairline and customize it to your liking. Um, what I noticed off the bat is the lace is actually a little bit darker than normal lace. I think there are some like darker undertones or maybe that's just like the darker roots or darker highlights that makes it this way. Um, but just keep in mind if you do have very fair skin, it might be pretty apparent on your skin. But let's see how easy you can part it because some of these front laces are really hard to part even though it seems easy. Yeah, so it doesn't really create a natural part, so you would kind of have to choose where you'd want to part it and then pluck that hairline. So here I have it in the middle, but you could also part it from the side as well. I kind of like it that way off the, to the side. There are definitely some like baby hairs. I don't know if that was meant on purpose or if that was just the machine. But this is the first one. I'm super duper impressed. Definitely needs some cutting in terms of density. Um, but it's super duper soft. The, the cap is super comfortable and the color is just so stunning. But yeah, that's the only thing that I would keep in mind. If you do have very fair skin, be aware that the lace might be transparent on your skin. Yeah, it is super duper duper cute. They have so much selection. I thought Uni Wigs had a lot of like amazing selection, but you should go check them out. Like in terms of front lace and also kind of their silk tops, they have wigs of every single color. It was so hard to choose the ones that I wanted to receive because they're, it, I was just, I was blown away. I was so overwhelmed. Um, but if you are looking for fun wigs, highly recommend, go check them out. Um, so let's move on to the other two. This is the next one. As I said, it is a silk top, um, but the silk top is disguised with bangs. If you're ever looking for a trick on how to make your wigs, silk tops, or front laces more natural, cut in bangs. Maybe not do it by yourself if you don't have any experience, but that is your go-to to making your wigs more natural because it hides, it hides the unnatural part. It just disguises it perfectly. So this is what the cap looks like. It's a pretty average synthetic cap with open wefts. Um, and kind of like it's, I wouldn't call it a, a silk top. It's kind of like a French top. Um, it doesn't, oh, it has clips in it. So if you do have hair, um, you can clip those. But for those who don't have hair like me, these are super easy to remove. Just take your time. Um, and then they have the adjustment straps. So let's throw her on. I haven't cut in the bangs just because I really don't trust myself. And this is such a gorgeous color that I just, I didn't want to screw it up, but man, oh man. 
Oh, this is such a gorgeous color. So gorgeous. It's fairly long too, which I love. Off the bat, it is super soft. It's not as soft as the other one, um, but these ones are a little bit cheaper than the front lace. So that's probably why. But this is such a stunning color. This is actually a wig that looks extremely natural. I would probably cut in some baby hairs to add in a little bit of fuzz at the top um, because you can't really pluck pluck silk. It's really, really difficult and you might just ruin the cap construction altogether. But the density seems to be very, very low, which I love. It actually, that's what probably makes it look the most natural. The color is stunning. As I said, the hair is pretty soft. I'm just in love. Like if the little mermaid, if Ariel had bangs, this is what she would look like. Oh my goodness. I'm wearing it right now and the cap doesn't seem too, too itchy. I feel like an easy fix if you do get irritated with the open wefts is just to try putting on a wig cap. Even if you don't have hair, I promise you it will give you a little bit more comfort. But I just love, love, love these natural curls. I think they are stunning. I just, I'm obsessed with this wig. It is so, it is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And it's so natural too. And this wig, I don't even know how much it was, but I think it was probably like less than 50 maybe. Um, I will have this link down below, but if you're looking for something that's super duper cheap, super natural, well, somewhat natural, and a beautiful color with bangs, highly would recommend this one. Okay, let's move on to the last and final one. This is probably my favorite out of the three, just because it's something that I have never ever tried out before. It is so out of what I thought was my comfort zone, and I think that's why I got it, because I just, I kind of fell in love with the color. So this is, <laughs> this is the third one. She is like totally giving me cotton candy vibes. So she's got the cotton candy pink, the blue, then she also has the green um, with some yellow at the back. Um, you can't do much styling with this one as well because you will be able to see the wefts, but it is the same cap construction as the previous one. So pretty on the inside because you can see all of the different colors and then their layers. Um, but this is what the cap looks like. Again, it's the same thing, has the clips, has the adjustment straps. These ones, I did cut the bangs, not very well. I'm gonna have to go in and do a little bit more. You don't realize how difficult cutting bangs are until there's two colors that you have to work with. I think I did a pretty good job. I mean, it looks so funny with like your eyebrows underneath because it's just like the blue covers them. Anyway, this is the third and final one. It's my favorite. I think it is so adorable. I love the bangs. I love the colors. You could probably put it into like really small space buns if you wanted to without fully, you know, taking the wig because you will see those wefts. Caps are pretty comfortable for a synthetic wig. Um, just keep in mind that they only come in one size. So if you have a small head like me, it might feel a little big even with your adjustment straps to the tightest hole or the tightest hook, whatever you wanna call it. Um, but that is okay. You don't have to glue them down. These are just like, these are super easy, fun wigs to just like put on, throw on, have a hoot, you know, get so many compliments on your hair. Same with the previous one. The part is super straight, so you would have to do a little bit of tweaking to make that look more natural if that is your goal. If your goal is just to have, you know, a wig just to put on, not worry about what anybody thinks or however many people stare at you, they're probably staring at you because your hair looks freaking amazing. If this was someone's real hair, I would probably cry. This is such a stunning, like I, I have no words. 
I have no words. This is my favorite. This might have just become my favorite synthetic wig. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. It's either between this and Moondust by Uni Wigs, but like, this is just stunning. You can't do a lot of styling, as I said, especially at the front, you will see that really, it's not the highest quality wig. That's, that's all I can say, but it is stunning. And it is so affordable, very cheap. So if it does come apart, buy another one because who wouldn't want this gorgeous hair color? I would usually go into more detail with these wigs, like searching up like the specifics, the specs, um, the measurements and all of that, but I'm not gonna do it because these are just like fun, fun throw on wigs, um, but they do have all of the information on their website. And if you do have any questions, you can always leave a comment, you can DM me, you can email me at theartofalopecia at gmail.com. But that is it for today's video, guys. I am super happy, so excited about my new synthetic wigs that I get to add to my collection. Thank you so much, Weekend Wigs, for sending me this these gorgeous, gorgeous wigs. Um, it's such a nice treat starting off summer with some fun, 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 fun wigs. I'm definitely gonna wear this one out. Maybe I'll wear it to like Rib Fest or like Sun Fest, I don't know some kind of fest. Hopefully COVID doesn't ruin that for us. Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much Weekend Wigs. I am super duper impressed. If you are looking for some synthetic wigs to either just have fun with or to have a little bit of experimenting time with, um, I know a lot of people want to get better at like customization. So I would recommend the front lace ones because you can do a lot, of, lot more customization on the lace. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know which is your favorite. I'm definitely going to try and name these. Um, so if you have any name suggestions, let me know. But that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to just subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so you know when I post next. And also follow me on Instagram because that is where the real party is and where I'm most frequently on. Um, but have a wonderful day and we will see you next time on The Art of Alopecia. Bye guys.